Hi, it's Tony. Today we're talking about exiting your property. I'm going to explain all the differences between the different exit wands we have, why exit wands are different than exit loops, and before we get started with that, I'm going to show you other options. One option is very simple keypad. It's wireless. You can mount it right to a post and just push the button, your gate will open. Very simple. Uh, we also have wireless keypads. This gives you a little additional level of security. Also wirelessly mount it, program it, put in the code, and your gate opens and you can get out, just like getting in. All right, well, let's get together, and we're going to talk about loops in a moment, but let's first look at all the different exit wands we have, and let me explain why they're different. <clears throat> all right, here are our five exit wands. They're all a little bit different, and I want to get a good explanation of how they're different. This unit here is the wireless exit wand made by GTO. Uh, and you can see their wire here, here. So let's explain this. First of all, let me explain what an exit wand is. An exit wand is a magnetometer. A magnetometer detects movements in the magnetic field of the Earth. So I want you to picture this. You want to picture a boat in a water. You know, a big boat going fast makes big waves. A small canoe going slow makes small waves. This is the same way with a car going through the magnetic field of the earth. Uh, it's going to make waves just like you see in the lake when a boat goes by. This is going to detect these waves. This is important to know because exit wands lose sight of the magnetic field, the magnetic item, which is your car, when it stops moving. Uh, and loops do not. So now we know the difference between an exit wand and an exit loop. Okay, let's get back to this. So this is wireless. It is wired between the magnetometer and the transmitter. This is a transmitting unit. And then between the receiver and the gate opener, it is also wired. But it is wireless between this and the receiver. All right. So when you need a wireless, that's the way to go. Uh, this is the Gate Crafters one. It's manufactured for us by EMX. Uh, this, is, this is the original one. This is what's been around for years. It's a good, reliable gate opener, um, and I recommend it in a lot of different circumstances, but I don't recommend it in lightning-prone areas. Uh, they don't survive the lightning as well as some of the other ones you're going to see. But other than that, it's a pretty reliable gate opener. <clears throat> this is the GTO exit wand. They work about the same. I recommend this when it's being hooked up to a GTO gate opener just to avoid problems uh, when you're dealing with GTO tech support because you know, the moment they hear there's a different product hooked up to theirs, they, they want to say, oh, well, it's that product, it's not our product. If you buy the GTO exit wand when you hook it up to a GTO, you avoid that issue. All right. <clears throat> this here is an estate swing exit wand. Uh, the difference in this is, you know, still magnetometer, still wired. It does have a range control board, so you can tune down the range and uh, you know avoid picking up things like uh, your lawnmower going by or, or a bicycle or something like that although this is not fail safe because the closer it is to it the more likely it's going to pick it up so you know if you've got to keep uh, kids behind a gate uh, exit wand and exit loops can only be used if they're used in conjunction with another device wired in series so the absolutely thing that you want can't set it off. Um, and then over here is probably our most popular one. Uh, this is the Estate Swing Deluxe Exit Wand. You can see it looks very different. It's all copper. Uh, it has a grounding wire on the end here. And that's what makes this uh, a great lightning prone area uh, exit wand. It has a five year warranty, which is longer than anybody else's. Uh, you know, nothing is completely immune from lightning damage, but uh, our experience shows that this one lasts a lot longer, have very few issues with it at all, got a great warranty, it's grounded right here at the magnetometer, so it's a good, good working unit. So these are the extra wands, I hope that uh, has uh, cleared that up for you. Let me slide these over and get to the exit loop. Exit loops are very different. Um, and there's an exit loop here and an exit loop detector. Loops go in the driveway in a loop form and they're wired back to the gate opener. 
loops detect the presence of metal above it. So when a car is above it, whether it's moving or not, this loop sees that car or anything metal. Uh, these also, in addition for being used for exit, are also used for safety in conjunction with close proximity to the gate to make sure the gate doesn't close on a car or doesn't begin to close when a car is in the area. These get wired to the loop detector. The loop detector goes in the same box as the gate opener control board and then this loop detector communicates with the control board saying, hey, there is a, a, a detection of a car above the loop, stay open. Gatecrafters.com's customer service reps are experts in gate, gate openers, and accessories. Our knowledgeable staff can guide you in finding which of our accessories finishes your gate opener system with the exact specifications that you want for your property. Feel free to give us a call, browse our website, or chat with any of our representatives. Thank you and we'll see you next video.